Yo, what's up everyone? Today we're diving into the tenure of the Pakistan People's Party, or PPP, from 2008 to 2013. Let's explore the highs and lows of their governance. This was a period of immense change and upheaval for Pakistan. The country was transitioning from military rule to a democratic setup, and the PPP, led by Asif Ali Zardari, had the daunting task of navigating this complex landscape. We're going to break down the PPP's track record from their landmark constitutional reforms to their struggles with corruption allegations and economic woes. We're talking about the 18th Amendment, the Benazir Income Support Programme, the fight against terrorism and so much more. So buckle up, grab your chai and get ready for a deep dive into one of the most consequential periods in Pakistan's recent history. Let's do this. Okay, picture this. A government that actually respects the judiciary. Sounds wild, right? Well, compared to Pakistan's past, the PPP government generally maintained a hands-off approach to the judiciary. They faced their fair share of legal challenges, but unlike some of their predecessors, they didn't resort to strong-arm tactics against judges or try to undermine court rulings. This was a big deal in a country where the judiciary had often been at the mercy of powerful political forces. The PPP's stance on judicial independence wasn't always smooth sailing. There were instances of tension and disagreement, particularly regarding the appointment of judges and the handling of certain high-profile cases. Nevertheless, their overall approach marked a departure from the days when the judiciary was seen as an extension of the executive branch. All right, let's talk infrastructure. The PPP government did launch some ambitious projects aimed at improving Pakistan's roads, energy sector and overall connectivity. They understood that a country's development hinges on having a solid infrastructure in place. However, progress was a mixed bag. Some projects faced delays, cost overruns and allegations of corruption. The energy crisis, a persistent headache for Pakistan, continued to plague the country, leading to widespread power outages and frustration among citizens. While the PPP government initiated some efforts to address this, they weren't able to find a magic solution to this long-standing issue. Now, for the not-so-good news. The PPP government faced heavy criticism for its handling of the economy. Inflation soared, the Pakistani rupee weakened, and the country's fiscal deficit ballooned. The government's economic policies were seen as inconsistent and often driven by short-term political considerations rather than long-term planning. Critics argued that the PPP's populist measures while well-intentioned, put a strain on the national treasury and failed to address the root causes of Pakistan's economic woes. The energy crisis further exacerbated the situation, hampering industrial growth and discouraging foreign investment. Corruption. It's a word that has haunted Pakistani politics for decades and, well, the PPP government was not immune to this scourge. Despite coming to power on a promise of transparency and good governance, the PPP found itself mired in allegations of corruption and cronyism. Scandals involving high-ranking officials, shady deals and misuse of public funds plagued their tenure, tarnishing their image and eroding public trust. While the PPP government did take some steps to address corruption, including pursuing cases against some high-profile individuals, critics argued that these efforts were often too little, too late. The perception of widespread corruption cast a long shadow over their other achievements and fueled public disillusionment. The PPP government inherited a country grappling with a wave of terrorism and insurgency. The security situation was precarious, with terrorist attacks becoming a terrifyingly regular occurrence. The Pakistani Taliban and other militant groups were carrying out attacks across the country, targeting civilians, security forces, and government installations. The PPP government faced the daunting task of combating terrorism while also addressing the root causes of extremism. They launched military operations against militant strongholds and tried to engage in peace talks but finding a lasting solution proved elusive. The security challenges posed a constant threat to the government's stability and took a heavy toll on the nation's psyche. Despite the PPP's efforts to bring about constitutional reforms, the reality on the ground was that governance remained a major challenge throughout their tenure. 
Bureaucracy, often seen as inefficient and corrupt, continued to hinder progress. Institutional reforms, crucial for long-term stability and good governance, were slow and often met with resistance. The PPP government struggled to effectively deliver basic services to citizens, and the gap between the government and the governed remained wide. While they managed to complete their term, which was a feat in itself given Pakistan's volatile political history, their ability to bring about meaningful improvements in governance was limited. Last but not least, let's talk foreign policy. The PPP government faced criticism for what some saw as an inconsistent and at times reactive approach to international relations. They tried to balance relationships with major global powers while also asserting Pakistan's own interests in the region. However, they were often caught in the middle of competing geopolitical agendas, particularly when it came to Afghanistan, India, and the United States. The PPP's foreign policy was often driven by the need to secure aid and investment, which sometimes put them at odds with their own stated principles. So, there you have it. The mixed legacy of the PPP government from 2008 to 2013. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. They championed democratic ideals, enacted significant constitutional reforms, and initiated social welfare programs, but they also grappled with corruption, economic mismanagement, and a volatile security situation. The PPP's time in office reminds us that governing a complex country like Pakistan is like walking a tightrope. There are no easy answers, and every decision comes with its own set of challenges and consequences. Thanks for joining me on this roller coaster ride through Pakistan's recent history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of politics and current affairs. Peace out!